Connecticut's number one local news. This is Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Good morning, everyone. Today is Thursday, September 29th. Thanks so much for joining us here. I'm Caitlin Francis. We're going to start with an eye on Florida this morning, track, tracking the newly downgraded tropical storm Ian. It left a path of devastation in the southwestern part of the state. More than 2 million people waking up without power, many trapped in flooded homes. Ian now moving up Florida's coast, making its way to the Atlantic. We're going to head right over to the Early Morning Weather Center for a check with meteorologist Scott Haney. He's got a closer look at how Ian could affect our weekend here in Connecticut because things have changed, Scott. Yeah, unfortunately, things have changed for the weather, not for the better for Saturday. It looks like we're going to get some pretty moderate to heavy rain here on Saturday, the results of Ian climbing up to the north. So that is a bit unfortunate. You can see the storm system bringing a lot of clouds and a lot of rain to uh, areas just to the north of Orlando, up in uh, parts of northern Florida. Uh, just an absolute mess. As you can see, uh, they're going to get uh, anywhere from two to two and a half feet of wet weather in Orlando and further to the north as the system continues to churn its way out into the open waters of the Atlantic over the course of the next several hours. All right, Tropical Storm Ian, as uh, Caitlin just mentioned, it has been downgraded. 65 mile an hour winds with gusts to 90. That's not good. Pressure 986 millibars moving to the northeast at eight miles an hour. You can see the storm track brings it out over the open waters where it might intensify a bit. Could go to back to a cat one. We'll wait and see what happens. This is this afternoon at 2 p.m. and then it climbs into South Carolina. Uh, for Friday into Saturday, it becomes an area of low pressure and some of that moisture gets caught up here in Connecticut. Uh, the hurricane warnings have all been dropped. That's some good news. Still tropical storm warnings and those tropical storm warnings go up the coast of right up to North Carolina. So they could be dealing with storm surge, heavy rain and winds that are just incredible. All right. In the meantime, our visibility at a perfect 10. We've got a wonderful start out there for you with mostly sunny skies. Here comes the sun. Hartford 51 degrees beautiful in New Haven this morning. Yet another gorgeous day here in Connecticut with mostly sunny skies on tap. Windsor locks at 49. A little chilly there. Pretty typical for the overnight low though. Torrington, you guys are looking good as uh, Waterbury 48 degrees with a wind out of the north at nine. All right, now the temperatures out there this morning, mid to upper 40s, low uh, 50s. Beautiful though. Willimantic, Salisbury, you guys are the coolest at 46, 47 in Putnam, 48 in Waterbury. And then you've got 49 in Torrington and at Bradley, 50 in Meriden and Chester. And uh, low to mid 50s along the shoreline. We're up from yesterday, anywhere from one to six. Not a big difference, but still, we'll take every temperature we can get, right? Every degree we can get. And the winds are out of the north today, anywhere from nine to 13 sustained this morning. And we'll see some pretty breezy conditions as we move through the day today. All right, now here comes the change. Get ready. All right, today mostly sunny. Some high clouds filter into the forecast later on this afternoon. Tomorrow will be a partly to mostly cloudy day. You can see that right around one o'clock in the afternoon. We're dealing with clouds and an extensive amount of clouds Friday night. And then here comes the rain and this could be moderate to heavy rain. This is nine o'clock Saturday morning. This is uh, right through uh, the afternoon. It just pours and until about seven o'clock. Saturday evening, the storm system moves to the east of Connecticut, but that's a lot of rain uh, over the course of Saturday. So we'll keep you posted, but that is a change for the wetter and not for the better. Temperature trend today is up. We are talking about uh, mid 60s, a little bit shy of the normal. 70 degrees is the typical overnight low. We are going to be in the mid to upper 60s along the shoreline with partly to mostly sunny skies. All right, I want to show you the national map real quick. Satellite and radar. Look at the cloud coverage from Ian all the way up the eastern seaboard. That's pretty remarkable. And you can see the rain marching through parts of northern Florida climbing out into the open waters of the Atlantic. So today for us, mostly sunny. The sun was up at 645, sun sets at 636, and then your overnight lows tonight, cooler than this morning in the upper 30s in parts of the colder sections of the state. Yeah, brr. And temperatures in the low to mid 40s. No need to cover your plants. There's no frost advisories in effect. Friday, tomorrow, partly to mostly cloudy. Saturday, rain. Sunday, mostly cloudy. The results of Ian and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday look good with temperatures in the low to mid 60s. That's a check of your early morning forecast. 705 is now the time. Kate, we'll send it back to you. All right. Thanks, Scott.
As those damage reports continue to come in from Florida this morning, volunteers from right here in Connecticut are on their way to help. 20 members of the American Red Cross made their way down to Florida before Ian's arrival as a Category 4 hurricane yesterday. Members of the Salvation Army are also down there right now. Now these volunteers say their number one goal is to give hope to people who are suffering. It's always scary to think of, uh, of the catastrophic uh, impacts of storm after storm, but I know that we'll do everything we can um, like we've done before, so I'm confident in that. They're looking to help not only with damage, but other long-term issues caused by the storm, including mental health services. The ripple effect of Tropical Storm Ian being felt at airports this morning. All flights in and out of Florida have been canceled. Travel experts are citing the importance of covering your trip with insurance. Travel insurance covers hurricanes. Like, that's another really easy thing that's inexpensive that helps save your trip, saves money. For more information on how to protect your next trip, you can just head to the Channel 3 app for this story. 706 now in Southington this morning. Police are looking for suspects in the armed robbery of a liquor store. This all happened last night at Wineworks on West Street. Details on exactly what happened haven't been released, but police say it may be connected to several armed robberies at businesses in Bristol. And another heist under investigation in Tolland, but this one happened at a jewelry store. Police say thieves hit Mirandi Jewelers overnight Tuesday at Fieldstone Commons. Investigators believe the suspects may have actually broken in through the window of a neighboring business. This morning, still no word on just how much was stolen. Okay, let's switch gears a little bit. We've got a wonderful follow-up to share with you this morning. A wayward seal that made headlines after surrendering at a police station. Now back where he should be, in the ocean. Schubert the seal was caught on video last week waddling up to a police department outside of Boston. Officers called Mystic Aquarium, who gave Schubert a checkup over the weekend. He received a clean bill of health and was released at a beach on Block Island yesterday. So look at him go. There he goes. Thanks so much for tuning in here to Eyewitness News. Remember, you can get your news and weather updates anytime on the Channel 3 app. Have a great day.